Why do we want to talk about this subject, brothers and sisters? Why is it tantamount this morning? It's because I don't believe that everybody's sold on the Bible. Now, again, please hear me. You don't have to be. But if you want to go to heaven, I just want to lay this in front of you this morning. Paul says, faith comes by hearing and hearing from the word of God. If there wasn't a reason for the Bible, if there wasn't a reason to have the Bible and study the Bible, then we are all misconceived here for being in this place because it doesn't make any difference. Let me prove it this way. Repeat with me, please, our memory verse for this morning. Is everybody ready? But I make known to you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by me is not according to man, for I neither received it from man, nor was I taught it, but it came through the revelation of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible, according to a Gallup poll in 22, that says since 1975, Bible sales are up 140%. Isn't that amazing? As a matter of fact, somebody said in this report that there is a 6.4 Bible sold every 10 seconds just in this nation. The Bible constitutes itself, and you probably heard this before, 1,189 chapters comprised of 31,173 verses, approximately, depending on, again, which version, which translation you use, 807,361 words. Now, to some of you, this may not seem amazing because you've read larger books. You've delved into greater lengthy series. But here's what I want us to understand about the Bible and all of this data, because it means one simple thing. This is God's love letter to his creation, and it serves one purpose and one purpose only, how to become pleasing to the one who created us. So this is why Paul, again, so is that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I cannot please God if I do not go through his word. If I don't go through his word, I can never be pleasing to him. They go together. If any man, woman, boy, or girl wants to please their God, they have to go to the Holy Writ and find out what pleases him. Paul writes to the young preacher in 2 Timothy chapter 3. But you must continue in the things which you have learned and have been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that you from your childhood, excuse me, you have known the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. See, some people want to have salvation, but they don't want it to be of the faith of Jesus Christ. Some people say that they want to have their own faith, and it's going to lead to salvation, regardless of whether it's of Jesus Christ or anybody else. In other words, Salvation and faith are not of Jesus Christ, according to many. Salvation and faith are just general topics that people have a tendency to talk around the coffee table. But in and of themselves, brother Wade, they don't really mean anything. But we have to be careful, because notice what Paul says next. He says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. You remember what Paul said he did after he was baptized? He went to Arabia to confer with Jesus Christ. He did not go up to Jerusalem to confer with men. Why? Possibly he understood that mere men could misconstrue the word of God. So I'm going to go to the source. I'm going to go to the one who actually wrote this. And I'm going to learn at his feet. Sometimes when we want to know what is what is, we got to go to the source. And too often times people don't believe that there is the source. Sometimes if I own source. There is no salvation in my source. There must be salvation, as Paul is telling Timothy, in the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Because the scripture of God is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete. Here again, I don't think that many of us are convinced that I can be complete by only using this right here. Too oftentimes you will find people studying, they're getting ready to do a message or, or maybe a devo or something like this, and, and they, they, they understand the text, but what they'll do is they'll find a commentary that was written by man. Now, I'm not saying that all commentaries are wrong, but here's what we have to understand. This was written by God. Commentary is written by man. Man could be wrong. God cannot. Here's what we have to make sure we understand. I want to understand what God says. There's too many people 
who don't want the Bible. There's too many people that want ancillary. They want additional. As a matter of fact, there are some people that say, I don't want anything to do with the Bible at all. And that's because I don't trust in God. But I still say that I'm his child. What I'm trying to understand as a human being is how can I be God's child if I don't trust in what he left me behind to study? If someone can show me the connection, I will accept it readily because I have only one goal, and I've said this repeatedly. I want to go to heaven, and I can't go to heaven on my own terms. I must be a child of God. And the only place that a person can find out how to become a child of God has to be within the scriptures. The Bible tells us that the scriptures and the scriptures sola make a person complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. 